think about it. Don't let it happen to you. All humans are at risk. Even the master manipulators are at risk. They will take everything from you. You are the bottom of the food chain. There is no privacy. Because they know how we spend our money. They know everything. They know where we are. They know what we're doing. And they know how we're doing it. If you let them, they will know everything if you let them know anything. You don't understand. They have control. They control your money. They control your mind. Are you OK? Do you want me to help you get into a shelter? A shelter can't protect us from them. There's no escape. It has to stop. And the ones that don't have control want control. We invited them. They're here, or they'll show up soon enough. You can't trust them. Be aware of the consequences. Beware of what will be lost. Just look around. Hi, Bill. I see you're living the life. What's up, Zell? Got a chill deal at Daryl's Lair. Daryl's Lair? Where? Right here. You're leaning on it. They have free Taquito Thursday happy hour. You should come by later. Don't blame them, though. It's your fault. You let them do it. Everything you do is being tracked. He's right, you know. No, nah, he's just a nut. If you use a credit card, if you make a phone call, or just standing here on the street, there's cameras everywhere. It's all about control. It's always been about control. It's been planned for decades. You will never know what is happening until it's too late. Hi, Cat. Prepare to be delighted with my new mind reading savvy and presentation zen. Hey, Zelly. Back to Tonic, eh? Hey? I knew you were going to say that. We'll talk later. Can I please get No, a don't tell me. I can see what you need. I call this Shrek's Pit. Uh, awesome? Mike, this thing on? Testing. One, two, three, four. Hi, Puddles. How's the new job? Hmm. Crickets. Yeah. So, can I ask, why does he call you Puddles? Of course you can. All inquiries are perfectly acceptable. This is a very liberal pop stand. That's right. With three strippers and one clown. Can you be there this weekend by seven? Do you have your own sound? Send me some 8x10s. I got another call. I'll call you right back. She wants what? I need my car. It's, it's part of me. It's like my home. I can't give her everything. Tell her! Do it! Just sign up. You'll get free taquitos. Well, they sure do look good. But I don't know anything about comedy. Just do your thing. They'll love it. I don't have a thing. Oh, you have a thing. It's all about attitude. Just ran about mayonnaise or something. They're gonna love you. You got a... a style. Okay, rodents. Let's get started. First up is... Wow, this guy's really good. I shouldn't have signed up. Too late. 
You already ate your taquitos, Bill. You have to go on. It's only three minutes. Okay, I'll do it. All the way from the corner of Third Darwin, our favorite, back with us for the first time, Mr. Vanille. I didn't prepare anything, but something kind of funny happened to me today out in the waterfront. This guy with a giant bag of chips was leaning against the porta john. I was thinking, how bad are those chips that he needed to be hanging out by the crapper? Anyway, he looks over at me and flashes some kind of sign with his hand over his left eye like he was watching me. So this guy steps out of the john and he hands him the bag of chips. I realized there might be a business opportunity. You know, holding people's food for them while they take a dump. Because where would you put it? And when you gotta go? Well, anyway, I thought it was funny. Thanks. Man, you really got it, Bill. That's what we need around here is some fresh material. You, what you need? You need an agent, a good agent. Pierre Kumin Jamaha. Let's talk. I love this country. I came with nothing, I still have nothing. This is way better than old country. Like when I was out, uh, hanging out in the, in the hood, you know, like there'd be people, well, we didn't have a hood, we had a ditch. But anyway, the people would be like there with nothing and I'd have nothing, but they, but we still have bravado. You know, that's a bravado. Welcome to our little piece of paradise. Okay, take care of the customers, light the candles, carry drinks, take their money, watch out for Barry, and keep the place clean. Barry? You'll find out. Hello. Authorities in Sisters, Oregon, have suspended the search for lost businessman Arvin Johnson. After five years, there are still no clues to his whereabouts. If you have any information that could help locate Mr. Johnson, please contact the FBI. Our on-the-spot live reporter, Thule Van Dyke, is at the Capitol for the governor's meeting with a special interest citizen group. This is ahead of the legislative session to propose a Medical Information Access Act. Let's cut to Thule now. The governor has said that this will open new opportunities to understand. Here he comes now. You gonna take away our guns? We are setting up the process to assure the safety of our homes, our children, and our constitutional rights. I assure you this state will be leading the charge to achieve complete transparency with the citizens on this very sensitive topic of freedom and happiness. Thank you all for coming out today. 
we will be talking more about this in the very near future. Governor, 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 what's that? Thank you all. Thank you all. That was Governor Vern Ackerman with an update on the mental health background check system being introduced at the state level. The governor is decidedly confident that his state will rise to the federal mandate. We'll be right back after this message from our contributing partners. Do you feel depressed or have occasional periods of uncontrollable anxiety? Have you found that simple life challenges are just too much for you? Would you like a non-surgical solution to fresnelic brain activity? Of course you would. Wouldn't we all? Well, we have <laughs> Fresnelic? Is that a thing? Take him this coffee. But this isn't coffee. He doesn't really care. He never drinks it anyway. Thanks, Zell. Hoo-ah! Are those real? <laughs> you mean my eyes? Uh, I mean, hi. Barry, at your service. You a friend of uh, Mr. McNary? I never heard of him. Doesn't sound familiar. Hey, Bill. Why don't you text him if he's a friend of yours? We're serving a special drink today called the Thumbscrew. Happy hour is half price. Hey. What can I get you? I'll have a martini. Stirred, not shaken. Hey, Barry. Some rough-looking guy was asking about you outside the bar. One of your ex-wife's friends? Yeah, you know. Are you from around here? You look like a government type. What's your nom de plume? Do you like kittens? Do you carry a gun? The name's Morgan. I've been transferred to the local DEQ. Just looking for a good hangout. What's with the dude wearing the colander? You mean Bill? He's quite a character. Keeps us all entertained. You know his last name? I don't know. He's just Bill. Haven't you seen a credit card or anything? Well, Bill's not real big on plastic. You'll see. Yes, I'm watching him. I don't have anything yet. How well do you know Bill? How well can one person know another? Oh, right. DEQ, how exciting. I love their swirls. Or Department of Environmental Quality, perhaps. You must be in need of a cold one after handing out fines to all those regulation offenders. Well, yeah. You involved with that stained glass heavy metals issue? What was that? Barium or something? Yes. We have some very important investigations in process. We are here to protect the people. Public health and safety are my highest priorities. Don't even get me started on Superfund sites. Uh-huh. Do tell us, Morgan. What are the measured levels of chromium and arsenic in our air? Maybe you could measure around Barry after Taquito Thursday. Nice one, Zell. I made a special drink just for you. I call it the Toxic Island Breeze. Here, measure this. Welcome to the Maya Clinic. How can we help you? Um, as you can see, I, I had a serious injury to, to my right arm. Wow, that looks like it hurts. Let me guess. Pet alligator? I have severe lacerations to the muscle, possibly cut bone, and the main artery in my arm has been severed. I see. Are you currently a patient of Dr. Maya? No, this is my first time here. Can we hurry up? I'm feeling a bit woozy. 
I just have a few questions that we need to ask you. Your name, please? Ir Irving Handy. Mm-hmm. Middle name? Michael. Okay. I am Handy. <laughs> Your address? Please, I, I need help. Just a few more questions. When was your last colonoscopy? Are you angry about being stupid enough to hurt yourself? Are you currently a medical marijuana card holder? Do you feel smartphone separation anxiety? Have you been feeling bad about yourself or that you're a failure or have let yourself or your family down? Uh, no. Have you been having thoughts that you would be better off dead or of hurting yourself in some way? Well, I did hurt myself, but at, at this point, I would like to live. You know, if you think you could help me at all with that. Oh, all right. I'm almost done here. Have you recently had a dream about running to a final exam naked? Ooh. Is everything all right out there, Rainbow? Uh, not exactly. We have another face plant, code 14. I only got halfway through the questionnaire this time. Call 911. What's up, Barry? You seem distracted. You almost drank some of that. Oh, I'm just having a little trouble solving uh, a little security problem. Your ex-wife again, huh? Yeah, kinda. I tried to buy a gun today. What? It's for protection. I think my ex has hired some thugs to try to intimidate me. What do you mean? I failed the background check. Really? Do you have a felony on your record? Did you break the law? I've never been arrested. I know that probably surprises you, huh? Not really. The good ones never get caught. Do you think your wife did something? What kind of marriage did you have, Zorro? It wasn't really a marriage, more of a friends without benefits. She mostly just sucked the life out of me. I doubt it was her. They probably have some records screwed up. You need to find out why you were rejected. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not that worried about getting a gun. That's probably stupid anyway. But I'd really like to know what's going on. Is this an identity theft problem that I should be worried about? The same thing happened to me about six months ago when I tried to buy some mace. What did you do about it? I don't know what to do. They said something about health, but I don't have any health issues. They've probably started to do some screenings for mental health diagnosis. No doubt there's some giant federal database that contains everybody's records. I think some states are already checking local sources of their background checks. Mental health? Like what? This is driving me crazy. Careful. <laughs> have any ideas how to find out what really happened? I'm just looking to see if anybody has any experience with this. If two out of three of us have been caught up in it, there must be others. Well, you can pretty much count on that. It's them. The feds. Well, I can tell you, I'm not going to stand for it. I'm going to do something about it. <laughs> That's probably why they won't let you have a gun, Barry. I have a bad headache. Hi, this is Barry. Make it quick. Mary Buckley didn't show up until 11.30 for a 7 o'clock wedding reception. So they showed up then? Did you pay them? I'll have to pull the contract and check on that. What was your name? I'll call you right back. Thanks a lot, Doc. What do I owe you? Feel the spirit. Feel the energy. What does a life blessed by the universe cost? I feel it. I feel...
$40. I feel 35. It is done. It is, after all, your karma. Peace be with you and keep your thoughts centered. What do we have on that head shop? I was looking into that last week, but I couldn't find any listing information on Tina's tobacco and ribbons. Did you catch what he was carrying out of there? Kinda. It looks like a box of tinfoil. Reynolds, I believe, based on the color. Oh, right. Of course. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you, I got an email from Robert letting the groups know that there has been some FBI activity attempting to get background on our subject. Let's find out who's involved and get a handle on it. We'll need to get ears in the lair. Do we know anyone local who can plant something? We may not need that. I'll check what device they have on their Wi-Fi. Maybe there is a security camera or some sound equipment. Right. That's the comedy club. They probably have stage mics. Oh, great. We're going to have to listen to hours of amateur comedy to get a tiny bit of info. I get enough of that with my wife. <laughs> what you doing, Zell? Looking at some pink slippers online. Did you find anything, Zell? No, what I What are we was... looking for? I've been sleuthing the web on background checks. It varies from state to state. Some of the background checks are going through a federal database. Looks like you can fail a background check based on your mental health history. Like what kind of mental health? How would they even have anything like that? Oh, stupid question. It's them. They know everything. They've been watching us for years. We're trying to find out how to look up your own info. I can't find anything. Looks like when you fail your background check, it just says you failed, but they don't tell you the reason you failed. So we're kind of stuck now. Any ideas, Bill? What do I know? How does a gun store find out? I met a guy in my IT security class that might be able to help. What? You take an IT security class? Like for what? Cyber termites. Oh, right. Anyway, what's his name? Who is he? It's Toby. He's kind of an elusive brainiac. Barry, what was the name of the gun store you went to? It's, and you're not going to believe this, Scooter Shooters. It was a flower shop for a while, and then they started selling guns. I think it was just a husband and wife thing. He kept it going after his wife died. Guns and roses? What? Guns and... never mind. Something seem a little off about Morgan to you guys? Well, yeah. Is there anything on about him? Why? He's been asking a lot of questions about Bill. Why would a DEQ guy be so interested in you, Bill? Weren't you listening? I told you he doesn't work for the DEQ. Nobody at the DEQ wears shoes like that. I knew it. That little faker. The next time he comes in... Shh. That's probably Toby. Hi, Toby. I have a favor to ask. Why would I help you? I have a friend who's having a problem, and we'd like to figure out how to get some information that seems to be restricted. I've been noticing your technical prowess in our IT security class, and I'm sure you're the person to help. Righteous. Elaborate. My friend failed his background check trying to buy a gun. We're trying to find out why he was denied. There must be a way to access this information online. Is there any? You have a friend that needs a gun? Well, we all have personal problems. However, I can tell you that even though Barry is a sleaze, that doesn't make him a criminal. Sounds pretty messy to me. I would give back the Miusian key to Kozan's vault. Hmm. Offer accepted. This topic has had a lot of chatter recently. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. You're the coolest. I might know a guy with a back door that might work. Lay low. I'll be in touch. What would you do with a gun if you had it? Throw it at her? She has a couple of hired thugs trying to intimidate me so she can get my stuff in the divorce. She'll probably try to take my car next. 
I don't think so, Barry. When is the last time you started your car? You have a car? Of course I have a car. I'm a businessman. You could throw your flip flown at them. Or maybe just take your shoes off. Thanks, guys. Very helpful. Nice to know you have my back. Can you just get a baseball bat or one of those menacing knives with brass knuckles? Hey, anybody can buy a crossbow. They're pretty scary. Or a Burmesian war spear. A little out there, don't you think, Bill? Seriously, guys, I just... Chinese throwing stars! Very effective. Oh, yeah. Or how about a medieval battle axe? Barry already has one of those. Maybe you should lay low for a while, Barry. Can't do that. I'm working on a big score right now. How is it that thugs can carry guns, but I can't get one? I'm Special Agent Burnick, and this is Agent Bolt. We want you to come with us as a person of interest in the disappearance of Arvin Johnson. FBI? CIA? What can they possibly want with Bill? Because he's an antagonist. Duh. I thought I was having a bad day. Stand aside, ma'am. Wouldn't want to have to take you in for obstructing justice. No, I don't think a pat down will be necessary. Where are you taking him? FBI office in the federal building. Whoa, this should be good. You're not planning any probing, are you? Because I have a problem with that. Hey, Mike, check this out. The FBI is taking Ramito Doso. Shh. Oh, sorry, I mean Bill. The FBI is taking him away. Not good. We may need to activate Othello, or get Newman to call him off. Right, I'll send a message immediately. If Bill finds out, well, we just have to stop it. How can we trust the science supply? They don't see the science. Dude, what happened? Don't know. They let me go. If you paradigm the graph and find association, you should sure to find a link and a lucrative combination. Okay, this will be pretty quick. I just need your ID so I can get the background check. Should be quick. I got no background. <clears throat> well, let's hope they at least recognize you as real. Background checks are getting ridiculous. The intention is good, but it ain't helping. All right. This was approved. You need ammo? Oh, I see you got it covered. Will that be cash or a chalk? Okay then, good old U.S. currency. I like that. Make it quick. I got it. The sniffer captured the whole transaction. Sending it now. Thanks. Toby. What's up? So you spoofed a background check. You're kidding. Who is he? Okay, okay. I get it. I don't want to know. I'm in a session right now. Can you send me the details in email? Yeah, I'll be careful. Okay. Time's up on the pedestrian as an inner-city blight. We should plan to revisit this topic again if you all agree. Sure, whatever. Yeah, I like good. that idea. Fine. Good. We have time for just one more topic today. We have homeless camps, planning for music man days, or guns in the hands of the mentally disturbed. All black. Music oh, oh, yes. psychos. All right, then. It's unanimous. Guns and mental health. Who wants to start? What's on your mind? 
Yes, Barbara. I don't want guns anywhere in my house. I agree, I don't want guns anywhere in your house either. But I don't think I should be restricting your right to do so. Well, we should be doing something to keep guns out of the hands of crazy people. What do you mean, crazy? I think it is obvious. You mean like people running through the streets being chased by bulls? Or living with seven cats. What about taking your doctor's advice without a second opinion, or mixing your tequila and vodka in the same night? Of course not. Those people are just having a bit of fun. I know crazy when I see no, it. No, real crazy. Like shooting up a school or bombing a baby formula factory. We might be confusing thrill-seeking adrenaline junkies with psychotics and schizoids. What's the point? The point is, there is a continuum of craziness yet to be understood, yet alone diagnosed. I ran with the foals back in 96. Well, I see we have a lot of passion about this topic. You're all getting out of control anyway. I'm getting scared. They are everywhere. Millions have already arrived. They want to get into our heads. They need more information to take back to their- Was there probing too? They have cameras and police cars. They drive all over the city. They're taking pictures of your license plates and matching it to their GPS. They know where you are. They know where you've been. Where do you think this info is going? Who do you think controls it? What do you think they're using it for? Do you think you can trust them? They share it with the others, so they can look up your location too. They can find you even if you don't have GPS tracking. We have to trust somebody. Trust your mama. It's Calco. Do you think you can avoid all this by taking public transport and using cash? Good luck. They are tracking the serial numbers of cash every time it goes through an ATM machine. It's being tracked when it comes out, it's being tracked if you stick $5 into a vending machine to get cigarettes. And when you use an ATM, smile. Your sorry mug is now part of that transaction. Public transport has cameras too. They have facial recognition. They can tell where you are even if you don't have a car. can't hide in the U.S. It doesn't matter if you're a law-abiding citizen because they track everybody. They know where everybody is all the time. We are not the criminals. They are. Don't stand for it, or they will take over the planet. Lock them up! It's not just cameras. They're everywhere, following you, in the elevator with you, sitting next to you in the coffee shop. You can't know for sure who they are. You will. Go ahead. Keep providing your personal information to them. They're not collecting it for your benefit. You probably have no idea what they know about you. Just try to find out and see how far you get. Don't extend your trust too far. Yeah, it's like fighting the Kong again. Pay attention. If you care about your liberty, Look around you. Just eat your gruel and keep quiet. They want you to be submissive good citizens. Right on, brother. Why do you think they came so far to probe our minds? We are the only species in the galaxy that is this susceptible to suggestion from our controllers. That just makes it easier for them. We are here at Spitzer Row Mall with Dr. Maya, owner and physician at the Maya Clinic. Dr. Maya, how has the legalization of marijuana use changed your business? I'm so happy that the humans in our community now have the right to use nature's best healing herb to meet their basic medicinal needs. Our business is booming. People feel that they can come in and talk to us and understand a better way of healing. An inner peace washes over me just knowing that we can help more people. Dr. Maya, I understand that you are a licensed physician. How are you different from a traditional clinic? For example, what kind of records do you keep on your patients? One of my very good friends and longtime clients gave me a Garcia album from his personal collection. 
that's not the kind of records I meant. What I mean is, do you have medical backgrounds before you perform a diagnosis? Of course, I'm a scientist. Everything I do is based on real data. We, as a matter of practice, are required to take certain medical data for AMA statistics, such as other medication being used, any history of heart disease or cancer in the family. Also, a short list of any mental health concerns must be passed on to the AMA. But mostly, I just have a conversation so that I have a sense of what their needs are. Where does this information go? Is it secure? Well, like any other clinic or hospital, we upload our patient data through a federal website that is managed by the DEA. It's just basic information for trained analysis. Oh, I see. Does this include any mental health evaluation? For example, if you diagnose a patient with PTSD, do you report that? I keep records on that information, but we are not required to report such a diagnosis unless a prescription is written. How has pressure from the drug companies affected your clinic in particular? My practice is not generally influenced by Big Pharma. We seek natural solutions and they tend to be less invasive and much less expensive. We have a significantly higher success rate than the average hospital. I would like to thank you, Dr. Maya, for sharing your perspective with our viewers. Peace and love be with you always. This is Thule Van Dyke reporting from Spitzer Row Mall for KBLB Television. I just wanted to stop by and thank everyone for their hard work on this extremely important and groundbreaking public records project. I don't need a formal status presentation at this time. I just want to get a feel for how we are doing at this juncture. Thank you, Governor. I'm happy to be able to report that pretty much everything is on schedule as originally planned. We are expecting to have a demo ready by the end of the week. That is excellent news, Boris. Morris. I just have one question. What do you mean by pretty much? We have a few minor details to work out relating to security. I have every faith in your team and am anxious to see the demo. I will leave this in your very capable hands. Zelda my contact has given me a method for spoofing gunstar requests for mental health background. It provides a pass-fail indication but no data on the reason for a rejection. I've attached a script you can run from the command window. There's a readme file with instructions. Let me know if you try it. Wow, this is really cool. What you looking at, Zell? Slippers again? Come here and look at this. Check it. I was able to look up background results on a small list of people using Toby's program. How many did you do? Just five, but there really isn't any limit. You could look up thousands. Can you tell the reason they were rejected? No, only if they're approved or denied. I told Toby we need more. What's her name? Order. Scotch Rocks, Jack and Coke, and a glass of Merlot. Did you get that? Yeah, yeah, three drinks. Here you go. This is what they want. Can I see your tickets? Just kidding, it's not like we charge anybody for this stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new comedian tonight right here in the lair. Just back from her Whirlwind Misery 88 tour, please welcome from Kirksville, Missouri, Anna Gale! Yeah, that's right. Give her a good old homecoming reception. Save the tomatoes for later. Thank you, thank you, yes, Barry. They are real. <laughs> it's not that I don't like cats. I mean, I really don't like cats, but that's not the point. But the cute, silly, stupid spatzoy cat videos are getting a little overpresented, don't you think? And it's killing me. Like I've had it up to my, well, I've just had it. Cause really the psycho cat batting at a sleeping pit bull with impunity is fun. But in the end, we're just killing time, honey child, while we ponder things like clean energy and world hunger, just trying to ease our thrall. Yeah. Yeah. I've got part of this figured out anyway. 
You know, because I'm a thinker and a planner. All this GMO corn and weed under the guise of not being able to grow enough food with less and less farmland and ever-increasing population. You know, I, I mean, I don't know what that... I don't, I don't <laughs> want that shit, right? <laughs> it's simple. I have just two words for you. Listen and ponder the truth, because you all know I'm right. Cat jerky. <laughs> just saying, this is easy. And we can free up our grains for proper distilleries where they belong. <laughs> I know, I know, all y'all righteous vegans out there just spit up in your cud over the thought of it. But while you're eating all that organically grown, kale-wrapped, nano-seed spread, think about the bugs and the worms you just sentenced to death in your mega-juicer. <laughs> Seriously, our whole country is divided by diet religion. Worse than political parties, deity-based rule books and music genres. Although, if you don't like country music, you're just a communist. USA! 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 Right? Now get out there and have a hamburger. Strum a guitar and tell your kids to get off their asses and do something. Like, go get mama some weed. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you. What about the governor? Let's try his name. OK, let me think. We need a social or driver's license. Uh, I ran his ID last week at the big show. It's probably still in the web of her. <laughs> That's awesome. I need to tell Toby this piece of news. Psst. Barry, come here. Uh, what? I heard that your ex is causing some discomfort in your life. Perhaps I could help you with that. With a phone call, I could get your wife's name on a certain list that would likely keep her occupied for a while if you know what I mean. Huh? What are you talking about? In exchange for some information on Bill. I would appreciate any help. However, I am a little uncomfortable having the FBI in my business. Frying pan into the fire, as they say. What? What are you talking about? 7134, cover blown. Sorry, sir. I'll report later. Jill Pill Puddles, what's going on? I can't get online. There's no network access. Not surprised. Probably shut it down. Good thing, too. You can be sure they were watching. Oh, crap. I didn't think of that. I need to get a hold of Toby. Tequila, Zell. A real one. I mean, no substitutes. Okay, I got it. Pretty boring, though. So, do you know me? When did we meet? High school? Which one? Oh, that would be good. But I don't have a smartphone. I gotta go. Talking to the home planet? <laughs> what? No. I mean, yeah, something like that. The witch doctor. What are you talking about? You know. The doctor at the mall. Oh, you're talking about the Inca dude. No, it's not Inca. It's something like Maya. That's it, Dr. Maya. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Talk to Dr. Maya and see what he can tell us. You know, how do the diagnoses become available? No malls. Not me. I have enough headhunters up my ass. I'll go. So which mental disorder should be assessed when doing a background check? A mental disorder is a mental disorder, right? You should not pass the background check if you have any mental disorder. So if I feel a little anxious about a job I'm applying for, I have an anxiety disorder? Of course not. You'd have to have extreme anxiety. Really? How do you measure the extent of your anxiety? 
What about depression or psychosis? You know, how psychotic are you? A little bit. We are missing the point. Nobody really need to own a gun. Just wanting one should get you diagnosed with paranoia. If you think you don't need to protect yourself from the evil that surrounds us, you are clearly delusional. With tendencies towards the narcissistic personality disorder, maybe you should get checked. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep this civil. Can we get back to the question of how an individual is assessed for mental illness? What degree of a given disorder rises to the level of denying a gun purchase? That's a government regulation thing. There must be laws that cover that. No, it's not the government. It's the medical industry. Probably the AMA that sets this. I would bet that if you get a prescription for any mental disorder, like lithium, Risperdal, or even Prozac, that would be a diagnosis that crosses the line. Hey, I'm on Zoloft and because of this I'm fine. I don't have a mental disorder thanks to a managed medication program. Oh, you're feeling much better now. Let her have a gun. She's feeling fine. Today. <laughs> <laughs> There's millions of people on antidepressants in this country. That's really pretty normal. It's the crazy people we need to be worried about. Normal? <laughs> How would you define normal? <laughs> All right, then. We are out of time on this topic. Let's take a snack table break, and then we will start the discussion on drones. Friend or foe? What did I do wrong? Tell me you didn't run the query script directly on the main Wi-Fi network. Hmm. Was I supposed to... Use a secure Tor access point? Yes. Run on an unprotected public Wi-Fi? No. I know. I forgot. Besides, we were just going to run this one script and then get out. You know, I did what you said with that online phone book. I just ran about 2,500 names through a randomizer and passed them to the background check script. It's really crazy. More than 80% came back rejected. I guess I'm not the only one with problems. Oh, you could be in big trouble. You needed to spread that out across a bunch of different IP addresses. If you see a bunch of black suits in the near future, ask one of them if he knows how to change the brightness on your iPhone. <laughs> yeah, like that. Anyway, I'm just yanking your dreads. Your router is probably just unplugged. People have already noticed what you did, but they are big brother. Groups have already taken this fight to the next level. The temperature of the hive is rising. Well, I'm pretty open-minded about your diagnosis. What sort of thing were you thinking of? Uh, I don't know. Like, I just don't want anything too ordinary. I mean, I don't want what everyone else has. Aha! That's going to cost you a bit more. What do you mean? Well, like most alternative healing practitioners, I charge on a sliding scale. Oh, you mean you charge people depending on how much they make? No, not exactly. That would be discriminating against people with, you know, money. I'm not about that. I charge by the syllable. Huh? Well, for example, depressed is two syllables. That's 40 bucks. But if you want something really interesting, like advanced late onset schizoaffective disorder, that's 13 syllables and be 260 clamps. Or if you prefer... Oh no, that's great. I'll take that one. Okay, then we just need to get the disorder level established. Right. What? You know, on a 1 to 10 scale, how psychotic do you feel? Or in your case, schizophrenic? Well, do you? We'll call it a 6. That would be good for insurance, but keeps the warrants at bay. The doctor will be right with you. What can I help you with, uh, Zelia? Oh, it's just Zell. I'm hoping you can help me with a little information for my computer class on databases. 
I can pay you for your time. Oh, well, we offer students a 10% discount. 15 minutes, 18 bucks. Unless you want a diagnosis. Ask me anything. Okay, first of all, I understand there's a mental disorder database to which doctors provide diagnosis information. My question is, what kind of information and when? Wow, big dig, Zell. First of all, it's not just for the mental diagnosis. We are only required to provide specific details if it's associated with a prescription. And then it's a simple entry into the CDC website. We do it about once a week. Really? Can you query the database too? Actually, I can do simple queries to get info from the patients that I have already diagnosed. That gives me a view of the other prescriptions that they might be taking. So you can't find info that way on a new patient before you prescribe medication? <laughs> yeah, crazy, right? But there are ways around it. Can you give me some details on how that works? Seems like I'm not getting the laughs, so I've been working on my delivery. I have a new one to run by you. I don't think you need to try that hard, Bill, but play it on me. You know how comics never do a bit without using an offensive topic? Things like F-bombs and toilet jokes. They do bits about women so men will laugh, and jokes about men so women will laugh, and jokes about the men who want to be women so that half the crowd will be outraged and offended. So imagine this. I come out and I declare that I'm going to avoid certain taboo subjects, like racial slurs and bashing world religions. I'm going to list these seven forbidden topics on a chart that the audience can see. I will attempt to be funny without crossing any of these lines. You're kidding, right? There's no successful comedians anywhere on this planet that don't use colorful colloquialisms in their material. This will never work. Hear me out, Barry. I'll be trying to keep it clean, but if any of these accidentally slip into my jokes, I will have to fess up and scratch that one off the list. I will be making the point that it can't Keep be... working on it, Bill. Maybe something good will come. Gotta get this. Hi, this is Barry. Make it quick. If the information in this voracious, most benevolent database is correct... It's like the mental state of a particular patient can be munged by the most recent evaluation. Amazing, isn't it? This would allow a righteous medic to fix his own mistakes. But it's a glaring security crevice. Any doctor can change the diagnosis of a previous doctor. Wow, that sounds like it could be really lucrative. Hmm, maybe. Anyway, so I interviewed a doctor in a small clinic, you know, sleuthing, and found out that he has access to his patient's mental health data records. I was thinking, maybe we could spoof a clinic, like we did the gun shop. Right, I was thinking that, so I did a little more research. I found a hacker who that is trying to get in. So I honestly planted a suggestion to use the clinic portal to get access. Did they bite? Do you still want to try it? Hell yeah. Of course. Those cats would probably get caught anyway and they won't be looking for us. 2B, do you have your encryption on? If you make reservations to go to another country, if you make reservations to go to another city, they know. Or if you go to the doctor to get a prescription, your information will end up as permanent record. Who knows how they might use your info? This happened to my friend, uh, Bob. He gets a little adamant to call his nerves, and now he is being told he is too much of a risk to be able to defend himself. I wanted to let you know that I have engaged a few like-minded people to aggressively enhance our database discovery process. I can't say any more right now. Watch the news. Okay. 
catch you later. I didn't expect to see you here again. What happened to your DEQ get up? Yeah, I've been reassigned. Hmm, right. So now you're an FBI guy as an FBI guy. Fact is, it appears I'm going to be riding the desk for a while. Oh, did they take your gun away because of a mental health diagnosis? <laughs> Not likely. We'd be pretty defenseless if they took the firearms away from all the agents with mental issues. Here, I think you need one of these. I call this a bummer bill. Hey, did you have anything to do with Bill being arrested? <laughs> I, I, I like to pull my pants up, I call him up, and I, 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 I pull my pants up, and I say, you know, pack that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Our next guest needs no introduction. He's been all over the... Thanks. Hey, check this guy out. He's stupid funny. Friend of yours, Bill? Shh. Thanks. It's great to be back. Thank you. I've received a lot of emails and reviews saying I am the raunchiest comedian of the decade. You know, I don't see myself that way. I'm really just a nice guy. So today I'm going to turn over a new leaf and keep the message a little more PG rated. <laughs> Here's a small list I call the seven taboo topics. We have the F word, toilet jokes, racial slurs, men versus women, nothing political, and I've had enough of the stupid cat videos. And this is personal. Religion should be kept in the bedroom. Okay, anyway, I had to go to the DMV last week. My note. Now, hey, I'm a fun guy, so I thought that just taking an extremely casual approach, I could maybe get some new material from this. It's pretty simple. I walked up to grab a number from the little number machine so that I could determine when I could get in line. This gave me the opportunity to browse the multitude of forms. Since I wasn't sure which form I needed, I went to the info desk to find out. Now, this was entertaining. I finally got the attention of the zombie at the desk. I asked if he could help me figure out which form I needed to get plates for the project car that I've been working on for a couple of years. That was my first mistake. He asked me if I had the title, but I was distracted when I casually looked over towards the line longingly and saw a guy standing there with a glazed look, fall over backwards, stiff as a board. I immediately thought, oh great, I'm going to get in the line sooner. <laughs> the luster of the experience was wearing thin as I realized I have been there almost an hour. After what seemed like forever, the guy continues to explain how to fill out the form. He then asks if I have insurance. Why would I have insurance? For one, I can't drive it without a license and the engine is mostly in the living room. <laughs> I was pretty well fed up by now as I realized that the DMV is a crap pit. Hey, he's doing my bit. Barry! Shh! This is funny stuff. I'm out of here. My limo is here anyway. Limo? Have you noticed a trend lately in the background chat? Sales are way down. Yeah? More than 50% are coming back denied. I thought maybe I wasn't using the system correctly. People are getting seriously pissed. I sent some customers to Bob's Gun World, but they got the same result. What do you suppose is going on? This is all crap. It's the bleeding heart liberal not wing kooks who are responsible for this. I talked to Jim. You know he is all about conspiracies. He's pretty sure they are adding mental health to the background checks. I heard they're working on this, but it shouldn't be in place yet. Even if they are taking that attack, how is it possible they're getting more than 50% of customers denied? I'm calling the governor's office. Good luck with that. If this keeps up, we may have to get into something more lucrative like a smoke shop or a tattoo removal parlor. Great idea. People will always find money to remove the tattoo of their ex. Am I the only one who thinks that some of their friends 
are a little too open with their social media updates. I mean, do we really need to know that your husband's colonoscopy went well? Or that you're heroically endured ooh, waxing? I mean, really, why don't you just take a selfie of yourself on the john? Enough is enough. Have some sensitivity to those out there with curling tendencies. If you have to think twice whether to use the word pus in your update, then please don't and no pictures. And I don't want to hear about how bad your daughter's friend's sister's boyfriend is treating her. I just want to know. Shut the f Just shut up. But I don't. I just can't. That's the way you roll when you're a pacifist. I try. Hey, thanks for sending the limo to get me. You got a limo? I even found Cheetos in the back seat. Live in three, two, one. Welcome to Street Talk Underground. Our guests today include the popular street rantologist, Bill, uh... Just Bill. Also with us is Dr. Jane Allgood, psychiatrist, noted for her work in psychoanalytic screening standards. So, Dr. Jane... Dr. Allgood. I know, right? So, Doc, we are on the cusp of introducing mental health background checks for gun purchases. Can you explain to our audience how a particular individual will be assessed for a specific mental disorder, how extreme it is, and how society should choose the level at which one would be denied the purchase of a firearm? This is an excellent question. In my book, Measuring your nuts, I have outlined a series of assessment diagnostics that yields a 0 to 6 rating for each of the 35 most common mental... Let the man without sin throw the first stone. Where did that come from, Bill? Of course, he is alluding to the notion that having one person assessing another person's sanity is an X greater than Y paradox. That is why I created the All Good Rating System. Did you rate yourself on the All Good Nut Scale? People with mental illness can lead perfectly normal and productive lives. I know, right? Right up until the government starts taking away all your rights and privileges based on your mental health assessment. Where's the free buffet you said we'd Let's be? go to our first caller. I understand that you've been the target of government discrimination due to what you believe is a misuse of your mental diagnosis as a child. Tell us about your recent experiences. Oh, yeah. Hi. I thought I would be going to college. However, my applications have been rejected. And now there seems to be some mix-up in getting my driver's license. It looks like I will end up flipping burgers at the Flip and Dip if I can pass the background check. I have to find a job on the bus line so I can actually get to work. Did you know they do background checks for a do you want fries with that job? So you believe this is related to childhood diagnoses? This is an interesting topic. Whether the colleges and universities should take the mental health of applicants into consideration. I think you might need to consider the possibility that you're just a loser. I don't mean that in a negative way. Mental health information is not yet being used in this way. However, be warned. If we don't fight back against the power of government, this is exactly where we are headed. All of you worms who are happy to see the rights of gun owners taken away will have only yourselves to thank when you are not able to get a driver's license, go to college, get a job, or even adopt a child. Hi, Azalea. We missed you at our last session. Oh, that's so nice. I missed you guys, too. Okay, hello, everyone. Welcome to our 255th Citizens That Care meeting. I know we were scheduled to discuss Walk Your Dog Day. I don't have a dog. However, I would like to suggest a topic that may be relevant to all of us. I believe that our schools may be responsible for information about our children that will have serious consequences for them when they become adults. 
I have been noting that many child behaviors, which used to be considered quite normal, are now seemingly disturbing to teachers and other educators. They're giving these various behaviors negative labels. Creative energy is considered to be disruptive. If Thomas Edison were in our schools right now, they would drug him and put him in a special class for ADHD students. Since when is having an active brain and great energy a negative thing? If Leonardo da Vinci was in our school system, they would drum all the creativity out of him. He would be diagnosed as delusional. These negative diagnoses of our children will follow them through the rest of their lives. If a child's behavior falls outside the parameters that society considers normal, they will be subject to psychoanalysis to determine an appropriate therapy to guide them into acceptable behavior. They will end up in a mental health database. Yeah, you're right. It's all driven by the drug machine. Follow the money. We spend billions on mental health treatment of children every year. Are they really all that sick? Imagine you're 15 years old, you are found to have ADHD and are put on Ritalin. You become a model student. Three years later, your constitutional rights are violated when you are denied access to a firearm. All because you're still in a mental health database diagnosed with ADHD. What do you think about that? Are you okay with that or would you expect some changes in the school? Which one of you buffoons released this without completing the development? The database is completely corrupt. It says that 70% of our citizens have mental health disorders, including me. Please explain to me what the hell happened. We have discovered that somehow someone managed to flip the go live switch instead of the test phase switch. Gentlemen. I am very disappointed in you. You have put me in a very uncomfortable position. There is going to be some major backlash over this incompetent handling of this implementation. We can shut it down immediately and get to work on a recovery plan. Of course, we will need to revisit the terms of the contract. At this point, I have no faith in your team or the software you are creating. Thank you all for coming out and exercising your right to express your concerns and fears. The governor is in an important planning meeting right now and is unavailable for comment. However, his office has prepared a statement regarding the mental health screening mental process health that has recently been... By now, most of you are aware of the unfortunate release by hackers of sensitive mental health statistical data. This report alleges that 70% of this great state's population has been diagnosed with some form of mental health issue. This, of course, is pure bunk. I have discovered that the Mental Health Screening Project has preemptively released a demo package to some of our firearm retailers. This has caused a certain amount of consternation and has mistakenly rejected a few potential firearm transactions. I have complete faith in my implementation team and the software they are creating. My office has, of course, taken immediate action to suspend this demo database access point. Once we have determined the source of the anomalies in the data, we will make this information public with the utmost of transparency, as my administration is famous for. Thank you for coming. I will take questions now. Governor, when do you expect the proper medal wow. to be fully in Wow, he got in out place? in front of that just Protect in time. Your children from harm. This is an yeah, but this information is already out there. It needs to stop. Oh, you've got a lead on something? You know I do. I know people with friends. It's all over Facebook. The hackers already published statistics on mental health information. 
Ah, here it is. Depression, 34%. Anxiety disorder, 27%. Schizophrenia, 17%. Paranoia, 23%. Oh, here you go. PTSD, 9%. There's like 75 more on the list. You should check it out. It's too bad Bill wasn't here to see this. He'd light up like a kid with a new toy. I think he's right on top of it. No, it's everyone. They're collecting information and keeping it in a giant bucket in the sky. Have you been diagnosed? Do you get a comforting feeling knowing that you have something that explains why you are the way you are? Do you want a label for your woes? Did your doctor ever ask you how you feel? Do you tell him? You know, he writes that stuff down. It doesn't stop there. Do you sometimes tell the nurse that your job makes you crazy? It's confidential until it gets into the hands of the government. So once it's there, do you think it's secure? Do you think that your information is safe in their hands? It's not. It'll never be private. No information is secure. Systems are hacked every single day. You hear about it in the news. They're going to get your information and will know what your health records are, what your mental health rating is, how psychotic you are or aren't. Probably are. You're just paranoid and crazy. You'll probably be diagnosed with delusional myopic belief syndrome. Go ahead, trust them. See how that works for you. That's right, they're putting us all at risk. All of this spying has a purpose. Don't be surprised when they start using this information to determine if you can buy a gun, get into college, get a home loan, drive a car, get on a flight, or even get married. Bill for mayor! If you apply for a job, you have to pee in a cup. How would you feel if they looked up your mental health records? Maybe something you did in the third grade is meaningful. What if this information is released to the public by geeky leaks? You could expect that to show up the next time you go on a dating site, try to buy theater tickets, adopt a pet, or apply for a fishing license. Well, it could be one of three things. Either our network is down, one of the zones that we're investigating didn't want to be watched, or there's something wrong with the software running on our users' computers. That's interesting. I wonder what they don't like about us looking at them. I hope they're not dangerous. Maybe it's just an acquisition. Okay. Let's check the network. That's easy enough. I'll call Murdoch. He's pretty quick to figure these things out. Hey Murdoch, what's going on with our network? We're not getting any data at all. Oh Jack, give me a couple of minutes. Can you wait? Yeah, I'll wait. Everything looks fine. We're connected to the outside world and the pings are responding. We're getting a lot of traffic coming in and going out. I don't see anything wrong. Let me check and see if we've done a recent software update for the satellite clients. Wow, it looks like we uploaded a client update to our entire user base last night, which is fine as it does that automatically whenever we release new features, except... We haven't created a new version for the past two months, and we're not expected to until December. So you're saying we uploaded new software, but didn't have any new software. How does that work? It doesn't. It's not our software. We've been hacked. I'll go look at the history logs and try to figure out what happened. In the meantime, we are going to need to shut everything down and reload all of our servers. What about the collaboration volunteers? The users will get a reload of the correct client software from backups after the servers come up. We should have them wait till we do some forensics to find out who's been using our computers. What's going on, guys? Mike is looking through the network sniffer dumps to try and glean who hacked us. I am seeing a large number of hits on the string mental health, also frequent occurrences of depression and anxiety. Oh yeah, could it be? 
Those hackers we were hearing about on the news that exposed the background check mental health information. Right, that makes sense. It's those geeky leaks freaks. I love those guys, but they effed up our system pretty good. No Christmas card. So, it's not aliens. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, we're going to need some terrestrial invasion protection. Hopefully, our users didn't even notice. Regardless, this was a brilliant use of community resources. I bet they got millions of records. Hackers hijacked SETI's massive collaborative computer resource network yesterday. They were apparently seeking to infiltrate the government-managed mental health network. It appears that the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, who recently restarted their crowdsourced data analysis program, have themselves become a resource for a more earthly invasion. With a yet-to-be-verified hacker group as the primary likely source of the attack, SETI has shut down, once again, the 286,000-member consortium of private citizens, pending resolution of this Trojan horse-style virus. However, this necessary corrective action came too late to prevent geeky leaks from publishing this once thought to be private information from the mental health system. So it appears SETI has discovered that the galaxy's most notorious invaders most likely reside here on Earth. Lupe, I'm having trouble getting into the health info upload site. The what? You know, easy health the website we use to upload our patient diagnosis data, where we log all of our weekly prescription activity. Oh, right. Yeah, so what's wrong? Well, take a look. Wrong URL, Rainbow? No, it's the right one. There must be something going on. I'll call tomorrow. Today we live. Tomorrow, we're not sure. Should call now. As long as I am the governor of this great state, I give you my personal assurance I will do what's right for the citizens of Oregon. This includes establishing a cohesive review process that will provide the absolute best solution to keep our families safe from gun violence. Federal requirements dictate that we implement comprehensive mental health screening as part of our standard background check for firearm purchases. With this in mind and understanding the complexity and security issues, I have suspended the current proposed implementation pending re-evaluation of the methodology for gathering mental health information. Over the past few months, working with our implementation team, it has become obvious to me that the source of mental health information, such as hospitals and prescriptions, have not established a robust system for evaluating whether a particular individual's mental health issues rise to the level of preventing them the otherwise constitutional right to bear arms. Once I'm satisfied that this simple criteria is met, we will continue our work on a background check process that will assure our safety and preserve our rights. <clears throat> For the added security of personal data, I'm engaging the federally regulated data destruction process to safely wipe out any previously collected mental health assessment data. This will include replicated databases that may have been sent to the cloud. Although there is a continuing effort on this topic, I give you my personal guarantee that your information is safe. On the topic of safety, I am sensitive to the plight of people who find themselves homeless, often through no fault of their own. However, we must address the impact that free-range humans are having on the livability of our inner city. With our well-funded 17-step program, I intend to cover a lot of this stuff with very... Hey, Bill. I'm working on a gig for you. Cool, Barry. It's in Walla Walla. They have wine and stuff there now. And that one place fixed the stairwell and cleaned some blood off of the railing. I'll call you tomorrow. You'll be around? 
Okay, cool. I'll call you at 9.30. Be sure you pick up. Hey, Bill. You never told us what that colander is protecting you from. Is it magnetic waves or probing from the government? Why do you wear that? Oh, yeah, this is nothing. Like, it's not for protection. I just use it because I get more tips when I'm out on the street because people think I'm crazy or a lunatic or something. This doesn't really stop the transmissions anyway. Here, Barry. You need this. What do you call this one, Zell? I'm vacillating between crash and burn in honor of the mental health system auguring in or a tranquility base just to clear your jets, so to speak. Hey, there's nothing in this. Clearly. They don't actually think this is going to spray all the data, do they? Who cares? Just putting in my time until that juicy federal pension kicks in. Soon, no regard whatsoever for what you want. Tell us, Bill. Say it. We're with you. We'll march on the city. The last thing they want is for humans to get along. It's the inter-society chaos fuels the strength of the manipulators. You don't have to be a map. If you accept the status quo, it's like holding the kite string by the key. Are you with the government? Are you with them? This country doesn't get better because of what the government accomplishes. It gets better when its people rise up and change the course. We have more power than ever within the strength of our common connection. They will have 10 million cameras pointed at us, but we have 200 million pointed at them. Are you watching me? It's not 1984, big brother. We are watching you now. Have your attention. further notice. Thank you. I've been diagnosed with the tendency to think a little left of center. Not my only chink. If we all agree that normal isn't right, it takes a lot of bells to make this person tick all night. from the center of the grid. One piece of sigma tells the truth of our own end. Set the rules of how we gauge a brain profile. Mark it down on your pad. Load the cloud file. A dream of paradoxical analysis galore. It's human destiny weaving from the core. There's more than evil here embracing the I've been diagnosed a little bit, now I'm going to say. Diagnosed to clarity exists for everyone but me and you because we're on the list. Hilarious, hilarious, a precarious day. It takes a mind with curves in it to navigate the sway. Take inhibitors, gray, black, and white. Stay out of my brain, you're not qualified to assess the probability of suicide. How can we 
trust the science applied. They don't see the human side. You have to paradigm the graph and find association. You're sure to find a link and a lucrative causation.